Uh, oh, Michelle, it's been some kind of mix-up. I'll get it to you right away. Uh, I, I love you too. Bye. Ah, Mr. President, this is a really big deal. Uh, look at Joe. If I don't get it done, nobody can. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let me talk to him, fellas. Yeah, let's get you out of here so you be a little more comfortable, man. It's about time, because I was starting to have my doubts about the hospitality around this place. Now here's the deal, Jack, or Mr. Jones. Look, you are in possession of stolen federal property, and we need that back. So you either call whoever you need to call, call your wife, tell her you won't be home a little late, and find out from the airport what happened with the package. Thank you, because we did put that package in the plane. It would be a lot easier if I had my cell phone. Thank you. Hello, this is the Jones Razor Dance. Hello, baby, that last package I went to drop off wasn't in the plane, so we gotta try to find it. I'll be home a little bit late tonight. I'll keep you posted. Love you. Well, Johnny, you know I hate you coming in here late. You take care of your business and try to make it home for supper. Thank you. There's no excuses for that. No problem. Yeah, there you go, fellas. He's more than willing to cooperate. Right this way, Mr. Jones. Now that you told your wife you're going to be home a little late, you're going to call back to the airport on this two-way radio and find out what happened to that package. Who could that possibly be at this hour? Is this your mama, Aviation? This is your mama, Aviation. Hello, this is Mr. Jones. I read it in the airplane this afternoon. Right, right, this afternoon, yes. I don't understand. Could you run that by me again? Well, there's a little bit of an issue. Seems the Secret Service got involved. Well, if it's that important, there's a young lady that dropped the box off a little earlier. And I will take it and I'll put it in a little lock box outside. And I'll give you the combination for it. And you can just open it up and retrieve the box then. Because I'm on my way home right now. Uh, no concern to you. She's one of the locals. She went home. Okay. She went to the YBL. Yeah, the, she, the package is here, though. She lives in Waimea, but she's going home. She dropped the package back. The box will be here, and the box marked pantyhose. Come by and pick it up. Good luck with you on that. Uh, well, Mr. Davidson, as you know, the government is in a little bit of a pickle with this one. We've used the military in the past, but we have to use civilian personnel on this one. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but there is... A top secret assignment here that we need you to do. 
We're not trying to actually go back on active duty or anything like that, but basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to accomplish transport of this object, but I can't tell you exactly what the object is at this time. Well, as you said, you're right, I'm not in the military anymore, but my fees have definitely gone up since I've been a civilian. I want first class accommodations. I definitely want a jet, some type of jet to get out there. I don't care where y'all sending me, but I don't want to fly commercial. Matter of fact, I'd rather fly myself. So, you know, arrange that and I'll actually send you an email with the rest of my demands. Well, not demands, but they're, they're more like conditions of my employment for this special assignment. I'm just putting it out there. You know, I ain't trying to start nothing with you guys, I understand, but I don't understand how the government can get in a pickle anyway. But th this is what I have on my mind. Well, thank you, Mr. Davidson, for giving us your assistance. The president will be very appreciative of his service. I'd rather consider this a gig rather than service, but you're welcome. Yeah, hello, Janet. Yeah, I had a great time last weekend. Look, um, I gotta leave town for a few days, so I don't know, how about uh let's go do lunch this afternoon or something. Uh, can't do it right now. Alright, well, uh give me a call back. Let me know when you can hook up again. Like I said, I'll be out for a few days. So I'll call you when I get back. Alright, bye. So we can hook up. I'll tell you what. Let me get my computer turned off and I'll be right over there to pick you up. All right, later. It's been a while since I heard from Mr. Davidson. Maybe tomorrow I'll call him and see how he's doing with his study on the black man. That sounds like a legitimate excuse to speak to him again anyway. Man, what an interesting day. I got a big day for tomorrow, so looks like I'm gonna have to get to bed a little early. I wonder what happened with Dr. Sirota. She was kind of interesting, you know? I don't know, kind of matter of fact type girl, very professional. Hmm. Wonder if she's thinking about me. Never can tell, though. But, like I said, I can't concentrate on that right now. I have other things I have to do. So, now that I have my assignment, I may as well go and get me some good night's sleep. Get up early in the morning, start out fresh. Do it military style. Speaking of military, I wonder what this this object is that they're talking about. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Who knows? They might even let me peek in the box. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I guess it's time to go to sleep and think of sugar booties. Ah, uh, sugar plums.
Well, I had the craziest dream last night. <sighs> Me and Mr. Davison, of all people. I don't know, this might lead to something. I don't like attaching to people, I really don't. Yes, we can. Oh, mama. Hello? Yes. This is she. Mr. Newsman, how are you? Sure, I would love to do another show. You mean the response was really that good? Well, I don't know. I haven't talked to Mr. Davidson in at least a week and a half. Well, we'll see what we can do. I'll be more than happy to. Yes, we can. Hello? Yeah, you know what? Y'all just up to Annie. Make it F-18. Yeah, I'll see you at the airport at 0800. Bye. Alright. Let me check my Facebook account, see what's going on here. Yeah? See what Albert's up to. He's always doing something. Mr. Air Productions. Ooh. Sister Sirota's online here. I think you're hot. Okay. I think you're hot too. Be out of town for a few days. Call you when I get back. Enter. Enter. 